Hello. Laurel Broden is a Liberal MVP and Ontario's Minister of Education. A while back, she introduced legislation to protect children from bullying in schools. The legislation was known as Bill 13, or the Accepting Schools Act. I'd heard about this bill from Catholic leaders, who fought hard against the bill, saying that it would take away the rights of schools to teach that the Bible condemns male homosexuality. I don't always take everything Catholic leaders say seriously, because they've been wrong before about issues such as the so-called transgender bathroom bill, which has nothing to do with bathrooms. So I decided to stay out of Bill 13, and I didn't take a stand one way or the other. However, events that have occurred since the passing of this bill have seriously concerned me. In particular, Laurel Broton is now claiming that it is a hate crime to be pro-life in the province of Ontario, on the grounds that taking away a woman's right to choose is arguably one of the most misogynistic things anyone can do. Oof! Where do I begin explaining everything that's wrong with that statement? For those of you who aren't familiar with big words like misogynistic, it means hateful towards women. So, according to the Liberal government, if I love babies, it logically follows that I hate women. No! We're not misogynists. We're not sexist. I have a girlfriend who feels the same way. My pro-life views are not based on misogyny. I'm not the only person who feels this way. There are millions of pro-life people in Ontario, including myself. And a Liberal cabinet minister in the Ontario legislature has just declared that we are all criminals because we love babies and don't want them to be killed. You know, when Laurel Broton introduced Bill 13 in the first place, one of the things she said about it was that it would ensure that expulsion would be an appropriate consequence of bullying. In this case, Laurel Broden needs to be expelled, first from the cabinet, and then, when we next have a general provincial election, from the Ontario Legislative Assembly. It's about time you asked yourself, at what point have we gone too far? I would also like to add that Dalton McGinty has recently resigned from his position as Premier of Ontario. He should have stood up for human rights and fired Laurel Broden for her disgraceful comments first, before resigning himself.